when menopause has your hormones so out of balance that you don't feel like yourself anymore? Dr. Clark Hansen from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine has the safe way to help restore balance. Good morning. Good morning. All right, what is causing a lot of women to experience menopause early? Yeah, it's a huge change. A lot of people are seeing that all their friends themselves are going through it earlier because there's three environmental chemicals, one toxin, that's causing women to have this two to 10 years early. Wow. So lead accumulation, we've seen that significantly reduces the onset earlier as well as phthalates, which are in plastics, as well as cosmetics and hairspray that women use. And then PFCs, polyfluorinated chemicals, that are in like Teflon pans and other cookware that is preventing staining. Um, those are greatly reducing the onset of men's or menopause, making it happen earlier, or making what we call perimenopause. So it just has a long kind of prelude into menopause of irregular cycles and all the symptoms of menopause. So what's the conventional treatment for perimenopause? Well, typically they're given either a birth control pill or okay. an ablation which melts the inside of the lining of the uterus, mm. causes scarring so a woman stops having bleeding, or a hysterectomy because the key symptom of perimenopause is all the hot flashes, the moodiness, irritability, but the bleeding, the prolonged bleeding and cramping that that comes with the irregular menstrual cycling because a woman's got been bombarded by all these estrogen-like chemicals that cause proliferation of the lining of the uterus. So Not how good do you, choices. Yeah, I mean, so how do you know if your hormones are out of balance? Well, usually you can tell by your symptoms. You're starting okay. to feel like you're not yourself anymore. You've got hot flashes or you're getting moodiness, irritability, long, prolonged bleeding. So here's a patient of mine, Kendall, came in at age 52 with all these symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, she had had a hysterectomy at age 48 because of this prolonged bleeding. Um, but she also had the hot flashes and night sweats, then cold chills, moodiness, irritability, memory loss. A lot of women say, just foggy in the brain, I just can't remember anything, I'm spacey. She also had heartburn and bloating, hypothyroidism, hypoadrenia, the adrenals were dysfunctioning, causing low blood sugar and lightheadedness. So a lot of multiple endocrine systems. So these chemicals are called endocrine disrupting chemicals. And they are wreaking havoc on women and making this happen way early. And this perimenopause goes on and conventional treatment doesn't fix the real problem, which is the hormonal imbalance. Exactly. Now, what are the keys to balancing this? So there's three main keys to hormonal imbalance. And um, we're looking at these labs right here. Oh yeah, so here's her, her labs. These are the things we need to test. We gotta get these imbalanced, get them balanced. So you can see the top t two estrogens are the harmful ones and they were way high because she had been on pellets, which implants create high levels of estrogens. The estriol with a good one, the third one, was too low. So was progesterone, DHEA, and pregnenolone. Now, she was getting some testosterone in the pellets and that was okay at this time. But those typically cause too much of an, an imbalance in, in one way or another also. Gotcha. So those aren't really the best choices, the pellets, for treating and getting women's hormones into balance. So what are the keys to getting them balanced? So the first thing is choosing the right hormones. You've got to get the estriol. You don't want to give estradiol unless it's really, really low. Um, you want to give estriol and then progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, and pregnenolone. You can't just give one. You've got to give the balance. You've got to okay. check the woman's levels. You need 10 times more estriol than estradiol, 100 times more progesterone than estradiol, and you want to get the optimum levels down back to a woman's age of about age 30 to 35. And finally, you've got to give the right delivery. Yeah, and what is the best delivery the for best the bioidentical delivery is, hormones? is sublingual delivery. So the, the body secretes these hormones into the bloodstream. So we want to give them under the tongue, goes directly into the bloodstream, best absorption, fast acting. You can give the estriol the safe, protective estrogen. You got to give it every day, but you can easily change the dose because of that if you need to. So all the hormones can be given that way for a woman. You don't have to have these big high doses yeah. that then come off gradually and cause imbalances in other ways and that can risk because you can use the safe estrogen. I know a lot of women out there are relating to what you're saying and in there are a lot of ways you can help them. You have a special promotion to kind of right. help them get their feelings and their right. symptoms under control. We want everyone to go to our website and learn more because you'll, you'll read Kendall's story. She feels great now. Within a few weeks all her hot flashes were gone. Her moodiness was better. She felt wonderful. She got her testosterone up so her sex drive was back. She felt great. So go to our website, sign up for our free newsletter and you'll be automatically entered for a drawing for a free hormone test. You've got to come in and find out your balance. All right, Dr. Hansen, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Always great information. And if you'd like to learn more about the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine, you can visit their website, drhansen.com, or call the number you see right there on your screen.